I'm Spencer Whale, and I'm the director of Front Porch's production of Fun Home. Daddy, hey daddy, come here, okay? I need you. Fun Home is really important um, for a lot of reasons. It's notable for being the first Broadway musical with a butch lesbian protagonist, um, or at least an out and proud lesbian protagonist, um, which might sound not terribly surprising until you put it in the context of all of the musicals centered around gay men that uh, Broadway has seen for decades. Going back, you know, in the 80s, we had a huge boom of them, and that it took until um, 2000 and something to, uh, to center a musical around a queer female narrative um, is a little surprising. And the Broadway community really rallied around it and supported it um, because representation really matters. And um, there's so many different forms of representation in this musical um, that a lot of queer people can come to it and um, see themselves on stage for the first time, particularly queer women um, and uh, people who don't conform, particularly the gender binary. Um, uh, there's a, a gay man at the center of the uh, narrative, um, a closeted gay man, and um, it's uh, one of those musicals that really explores family dynamics in a really vital, um, honest way. And so, Everyone can find their own way into this musical, and um, everybody has family struggles. Uh, not everybody's queer, but everybody will recognize their family in this family. And um, I know for me, it's it was so meaningful for me as um, a gay man to bring my family to see Fun Home and share it with them and um, see the sort of aha moments that even my mom had uh, where she realized some things that I might have gone through when I was younger uh, that she hadn't thought about. So um, Fun Home has an incredible power to open people's eyes to life experiences um, that they might not have been subject to. It's really important to, uh, to prioritize representation on stage right now. Um, uh, I don't need to get into our cultural moment right now and the sort of divisions that we're experiencing in this country, but um, I think more now than ever, um, more now than in recent memory, our queer brothers and sisters and um, particularly our trans brothers and sisters are sort of under attack and need to be lifted up and celebrated. And I think we talk a lot in the media and even in our personal lives about how important it is to accept people who are different and to accept um, the queer son, the queer daughter. And uh, I think that really what we need more than that in this time is to celebrate each other and celebrate their differences and to actively go out and see a musical about someone who's not like us and, and revel in that and experience other people's way of life and be enriched by that and have our eyes opened. And I think the way that this piece breeds empathy is uh, very important now. It's probably conceited to say. What I'm really excited about with this production is that we are the Pittsburgh professional premiere. So the, uh, the tour did come through a few years ago, um, which was brilliant direct, brilliantly directed by uh, Sam Gold, who won the Tony, and um, had a great cast out of New York. And they swept all through the country and uh, performed a variation on the original production. Um, this is not that. This is something a little bit more homegrown. Um, Front Porch's mission is always to, um, to put Pittsburgh talent up on stages and to uh, really commit to bringing local artists onto the stage, some of them newly local. We have a few um, actors who are currently studying at CMU um, who are adopted Pittsburghers, we like to say. And this is a story about Pennsylvania. This play takes place in Beach Creek, Pennsylvania. This is the true story of a Pennsylvanian family um, right outside State College, PA. And so to have this opportunity to use all of these Pennsylvania artists to tell this story about our state and a different perspective on it and uh, you know maybe some of the the corners of the rug that we haven't peeked under for a while um, feels really special and so instead of trying to imitate anything that's been done before um, we're really trying to bring ourselves to it 
and bring a new voice to it and um, approach it um, through our Pittsburgh lens and really let our local talent bring a little bit of themselves to it um, to get closer to Allison and her family. Daddy, comma, hey. People have to see Fun Home. They, they have to see Fun Home because it's, it's really just one of the most important pieces to come out of the American musical canon in a very long time. Um, and everyone will see themselves in it. Uh, the music is gorgeous. It's one of those musicals where it feels like the music never stops. Um, it's written, the music is by Janine Tesori, who also wrote Violet, which Front Porch uh, brilliantly produced a few years ago. It's a similar score in that, you know, once the music begins, even under the scenes, um, it just elevates everything and really it, it this feels like a play with music because the scenes are so good and the drama is so real and the comedy is so hysterical. Uh, the stakes are so high for these uh, young queer people and out of that comes um, some really warm laughs. You will be drawn in and you will feel your feelings and uh, you will think about your family and um, you'll think about some people who maybe need to be celebrated. I say, there you are today. Take my hand, give me yours, bend your knees, not that way. There when I say go, you start are. pushing me. <laughs>